In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, the goodness of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we ask forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, bless us powerfully with spiritual gifts that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before him, before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O Lord, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will, show, <clears throat> you will show me the path to life. 
fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, I have given them the glory you gave me so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am they also may be with me that they may see my glory and that you, that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them, the gospel of the world, the Lord. So much closer to the last day of the Easter season, this Sunday, the seventh day in the Pentecost Novena, many Pentecost Novena today is praying for the outpouring, the gift, the blessing of counsel. Counsel as one Novena described as supernatural common sense. And isn't it refreshing when people, you meet someone that has common sense. Someone who's not operating out of their feelings, their woundedness, their wounds, their Affected wounds, people that aren't operating out of the temptations of the world or self or the devil himself, but just can see and look at life in a very logical way and just knowing what to do, what to say, what direction to take. To pray for the gift of the gift of counsel is also praying that we are always moving towards the Lord, much like Jesus prayed in his discourse, his farewell prayer today, that we may all be one, that we are living in God's love for us, that we are living in Jesus' love for us, in order that we may be brought to perfection. And so, as I often say, as things are about to happen, put on your seat belts and let us pray with great expectation that the gift of the Holy Spirit that we have all received may come fully alive in our lives and that we may live our lives in the counsel of God, particularly being guided by the wisdom and the power of the Holy Spirit. May we pray in these days and forever, come Holy Spirit, be with us, always at work within us.
In confidence of God's love and presence, we pray in confidence. For the church, <clears throat> may the grace of the sacraments strengthen our unity in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, may the wisdom of God guide their hearts and minds in the service of the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are unjustly imprisoned, may the Holy Spirit encourage them to persevere in hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of worship, may the love and peace of the Lord reign in our homes and families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may Christ our King, our Blessed Mother, and all the other choirs of angels Soon welcome them into the eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life, from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the deceased Jim Mater, and for the Mother's Day Novena, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, through your Son, Jesus, you have filled us with the gift of the Holy Spirit. May the Spirit be open and operative in our life today and always, which we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice To the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, in accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Be with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For after his resurrection, Jesus plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, that was the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, Lord God, enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Mary, help of all Christians, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. Be to God. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise, all praise be every moment thine.